Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Nacho Paradise, and uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at uh, my LEGO Transformers G1 Starscream. Um, so, a few things to say about this before we actually get into the video. This was supposed to be uploaded like a few, like months ago. Um, maybe not that long, but you know, it was supposed to be uploaded a long time ago. And the reason it wasn't is because, like, is uh, it's because. What I recorded it and then like something happened with the uploading thing and it messed it up and then I just haven't tried since um, So again, this was to be uploaded a long time ago uh, for those of you um, That are in the discord Lego chat room. I built this guy a really long time ago I showed him to you guys a, a long time ago um, So here he is if you were expecting him <laughs> um so yeah, here is Starscream in his jet mode. Not exactly sure what type of jet he is, um, but he definitely does look like Starscream. Um, I just I look at him from this angle because looking at him from this angle looks stupid. You can already tell um, how he transforms pretty much, and if you look on the bottom, then it just looks even worse. Uh, so I'm not a huge fan of his jet mode, but I was um, trying to uh, put more detail into the robot mode um, than jet mode. So I just wanted a Starscream that could transform and turn into a jet that looked actually that actually looked like the jet that Starscream turns into. Um, so he has the uh, fiery, like the guns, on, <laughs> the fiery things, the boom boom sticks on the side of his jet, um, and then he's got the cone right there. Um, I kind of wish it was blue, but I don't have. I don't think I have any blue cone pieces, uh, so I just stuck with gray uh, because there are different versions of Starscream. Um, his jet, anyway, that are gray. Uh, looking at the back, uh, not too much detail in the back. I tried to add in, um, what do you call them? Uh, the booster things. Uh, but, you know, oh well. Um, you know, yeah, nice cockpit. Uh, it's pretty much gray, you know, except I tried to keep it as color accurate, like as, you know, so these things are gray or uh, blue. I think these are supposed to be gray. Um, but I had them in blue, so I just used blue. Um, uh, these little bits right here, that's red. Um, this whole part is gray. Um, again, fortunately, that is gray instead of blue. Um, and then he's got the red stripes along the wings. Uh, so I look... Um, I, I think he looks a lot like Starscream, uh, so I am very proud of this guy. Um, so let's get into comparisons, and then we can transform him. Okay, so uh, here is Starscream uh, with Soundwave, so obviously not in scale at all, um, but you know, it's kind of hard to keep this stuff in scale because you can't actually shrink or grow Lego Transformers, unfortunately. Uh, and then here he is with Megatron. Uh, again, not accurate at all. Um, here he is with, uh, actually, a... Uh, Transformer that I have been working on as well uh, So well, yeah, actually kind of it's kind it's kind of close. This is a hover tank, so I Don't know um, and then last but not least here. He is with Ben, so that's not very accurate either um, Unless it's like one of those No, it's not even that I was gonna say it's like a small private jet, but still it's not even close uh, So now that we have the comparisons out of the way, I think we should transform him Okay, so to transform Starscream, um, it's pretty simple. Uh, first, what you want to do is you actually want to rotate this cockpit piece, just like that, right? And then you want to flip this whole assembly back like this. And then you want to stand him up. Uh, so again, you can probably already see how he transforms. Uh, come to the bottom here, you want to slide these pieces down and flip them back. Uh, same with the other side. And then you want to flip out his feet fit in there very nicely. Uh, actually, you know what, before you do that, you want to split the legs because it makes life easier. And then you want to flip it on the feet without breaking, because I kind of wish his wings will fall off. I forgot to mention that. His wings will fall off. I'm going to leave that off because it's probably going to fall off again. Um, this 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 one likes to fall off a lot. Um, I probably should change that piece. However, both of them. I don't know which one to change, so I'll just change both of them. All right, so now you want to... Come to the back and flip his wings out, and I'll actually attach this just to... Because why not? Uh, let's see. Alright. 
flip those back. Okay. Um, then you want to uh, kind of um, transform the null array, so you just want to flip those around and then pinch them and so, so they become longer. So this one, so the his right one is farther than his hand and this one isn't as far as his hand. So you just want to pinch and there you go. Um, fake cockpit because I have, I had no idea how to do that. Um, he's almost done already. He's very he has a very simple transformation. Um, and just like whoa, fell off again. And just like uh, the regular star scream, you want to flip around his. Actually, you want to probably want to bring up his arms and flip around the wing, position it upward. Actually, want to bring it back and then bring it forward. Uh, same with the other side. Um, and boom. There you have Starscream in his robot mode. Okay, so here is Starscream in his robot mode. Um, and I and I think he looks uh, pretty cool in his robot mode, I think. Um, I think he looks a lot like Starscream. Uh, <clears throat> he has the cockpit in the right spot. I tried to get his white waist right here, but I couldn't really do that as well as the white uh, crotch piece. Uh, but again, couldn't do that. Um, He's got the gray right there. I think his head looks pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I don't think his does. I don't think his head looks too bad. Um, I kind of do wish I had regular uh, tiles right there, but I don't. Um, I like how the uh, null rays came out as well. I thought those looked pretty good. Um, I don't know. Just overall, I really like this dude. Uh, Posability. I don't really want to go through posability, um, but. It's pretty simple. So there's a swivel and back and forth and elbow joint, you know, and knee joint and back and forth and in and out, you know. Uh, he also has some feet. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to go over uh, posability. Uh, he has some feet pivoting action, so he can get him in some pretty good poses there. Uh, but yeah, his head can turn, but it's a pain in the butt because it's connected weird. Uh, so yeah, let's get into comparisons. So first off... It's kind of out there. Don't fall over. All right. So first off, we have Soundwave. So these these guys are about the same height. Soundwave might be a tiny bit taller, but um, that's actually what I was aiming for. Um, I'm try I was I was trying to get these guys the same height. Um, so that is good. Uh, next we have Megatron, which whoa, bump the camera. Uh, which Megatron is a, a bit taller. He's about a head taller, I think. Um, it's so weird how they stand. Um, which is, is good as well, because Megatron is taller. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then we have the Transformer that I've been working on. Uh, so, I think... Uh, he's a smaller guy, so I think that that's about right. And then we have Ben. So, um, didn't grow up with the G1 show, so I don't know if that's accurate or not. Uh, tell me in the comments if it is accurate. Because, um, you know, I was <laughs> going to take Starscream out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, this is the third member of the Decepticon army that I'm building. Uh, next, we are going to have... Um, what's... Crap. Shockwave. He's going to be the next member. Um, and then I think that about does it for the Decepticons. And then I'm going to move on to the Autobots. And then we'll go from there. I might do the Dinobots next. Who knows? Just tell me, again, tell me in the comments what you want to see um, after the uh, Decepticons. So, yeah, that'll about wrap up the video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.